So I asked listeners, what did they do deliberately to have a great day? The top three answers were pray and read the Bible, practice gratitude, and exercise. Those were my top three too. Oh, and of course, coffee, but that's a given. But I was surprised how universal these three things were. Um, I believe one of the reasons praying is so huge and makes such a big difference is because it's a deliberate act of surrender, right? We're asking God to take control of our day and we're not trying to run everything in our own strength which causes stress and anxiety. I know, because I tried to run everything in my own strength for years and it didn't work. Expressing gratitude is huge too, and because it's a quick way to reframe our thinking and get out of negative thought patterns. I don't know about you, but I can get into negativity pretty quick. In fact, it usually starts about 4 a.m. when my alarm goes off. So thinking about the things that I'm grateful for can really get me out of that trap pretty quickly. And exercise is obvious, right? Because it releases serotonin in the brain and it is a natural antidepressant. And I don't know about you, but I've never felt guilty after working out. So it's a great thing to do for yourself and uh, you feel good about it. What about you? What things do you do every day to have a great day? You can find out more on my blog and on Facebook. It's Genuine Life with Jody Stevens.